In this video, I want to show you how to add text to your HTML body uh, without actually having to type text in here. Um, I mean, initially, if you can do something like that, this, uh, it's that easy to do it in the by tag rather than do it, do it through uh, JavaScript slash jQuery. Uh, but in the future, um, some more complicated, you might have a use of inserting data through JavaScript slash jQuery. Um, anyways, so what we got here is our basic HTML uh, document syntax, and then I'm pulling in my jQuery through the jQuery website, and I'm pulling uh, 1.8 version of it, and then I have my script tags here to uh, to code my jQuery. So what I'm going to first do is I'm going to add a hello world to body by using append. So now what a pen will do is it will add this to the end of this element. And so what I mean by this is I'm going to save my uh, hello world.html hello world document. I'm going to refresh it within my browser and within here within the expect elements. Uh, to get to this, you right click in Google Chrome and hit expect elements. And then the screen at the bottom will come up. Um, anyways, to here in the bottom, um, we can see hello world comes in at the bottom of our, at the yeah, bottom of our body elements. Um, and actually, there's an easy way of doing that. The way of doing that through JavaScript is you do documents that write. And then in both cases, you can actually add uh, an HTML element to it. So in this case, I'm adding a break element. So I'm going to hit refresh. So this, this is a way of adding, these are basically the same thing. Um, this selects the body and appends hello world, and then this writes straight into the body of dot, document dot writes. Um, I mean, if you are gonna add to the body with H, with, sorry, with JavaScript, I re recommend the document dot write over append. And the reason why is document dot write is actually quicker than, a, than append. Um, jQuery is very useful, but it's not always the most optimized language that you want to use. Uh, pure JavaScript is quicker than jQuery, but there's some things that it's a lot easier to do through jQuery than it is through JavaScript. Um, so now, uh, what I want to do is I want to add this to an actual div. So I have a div ID of test. And we see within here our div ID um, high also comes in. Now it's no longer within the body because we selected the div ID test. But say you want this to actually be at the top, not the bottom. Uh, so to do that, let's actually do a test. And what we're going to do is we're going to use what's called prepend. Prepend will um, do will put this high in the break tag at the top of our test ID tag rather at the bottom of it. So now, even though our high is with, um, sorry, even though our um, how are you, our, our is within our test ID, uh, the high gets appended and basically gets put above um, the how are you because of what the prepend does. And then some, uh, one last thing I want to show is say you have a couple of different, I'm sorry, let's use the same example, but we want to um, insert it after the div ID. We don't want it to be within here. Um, so one is actually called after. But when you do this, you have to have some kind of HTML element to it. Um, so this what I mean by this is we'll, we'll surround this by a div. If you don't, if you don't do this, um, if you'll put some around div p tag, but basically some HTML element around it, it's not going to work uh, because of the way that the after element works. So let's go ahead and hit refresh. And I'm sorry, let's hit refresh after it. So now we can see in here our test ID. There's no longer anything in here, but after it is the div of high around it, and then before. 
does the opposite. Is it will insert it above our div ID. And just to show you that, so now again, you can see now it inserts it before it. Um, but there's actually another way of doing this too. Is instead of having before, you can have insert before. And what I mean by this is. So now we can see this stuff comes in, um, but it's us, it's code differently. Um, this is more of a personal preference. Both of them work the same. It's just really which way do you want, the, which way do you prefer to word, word it? Do you want to insert before or do you want to do before or do you want to do after? Um, insert after is the same thing. So now our um, high was inserted after our div ID here of test. Um, so again, it's really up to you what personal preference, but that's how you add text to uh, HTML document without um, through JavaScript jQuery. And there's a lot more you can add to it. You guys made some more complicated. You can add, you can literally add a whole page through JavaScript if you chose to. Um, it's just, it's just really what you're trying to accomplish and that will determine what's the best use, what's most useful uh, for these four different tags that I showed. Anyways, uh, please rate the video, leave me in the comments, let me know what you want me to show you, and I look forward to the next lesson.